So you have a guy, he like does this running start ramp thing, and then you see him die right there. You think I can make it? I really hope I don't. Uh, hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Permanent Roleplay, the place where we take a build, put them out in the world, and if they succeed, haul the heroes, and if they don't, well, then they're cut, and we start someone new. And today we're playing Jesse, our chem build, who is rocking right now. It's been a lot of fun using the semi-automatic weaponry and taking out the people holding Nick hostage. Now, one of the things that has kind of happened with this whole taking of Nick hostage is that it's put us in a position where we're getting this incredible gun, the Tommy gun. Now, our character has been an automatic user from the very beginning, so it's a lot of fun to actually have a submachine gun and shooting wildly with it. It's actually weaker than every other uh, weapon that we kind of have made. This does 26 damage per shot crazy more powerful and we have way more ammo with it but i've kind of making a habit of using weapons that are less powerful in order to uh take things out i just realized that my headphones were disappearing a second ago so i did a quick fix on that anyway we've been using these uh we use ammunition so quickly i've been using our shittier guns ammo first because i figured hey why not take advantage of that little bit of extra benefit and uh we could just build up on the good guns and not have to worry too much about stuff so that's been working really well. Bobby pins, nice. And uh, we've just been cutting people down to size, shooting through them. We've always done these missions before as a sneaking character. So coming through now as somebody who just running guns, been fun. All right, I know I just was, oh, silver shroud, signal loss. Okay, so the worst case scenario is that we find some drugs in this area that forces us to kill Nick. So fingers crossed. We do not find any drugs that cause us to do that. How you doing in there, Valentine? Oh yeah, you it's this part. Hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You this is actually pretty sick. Got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh, no. I, I, I gotta smooth this over fast. Unfortunately, you don't have that chance. I was waiting for you, Dino. I was waiting for you. Oh, yes. That felt good. Oh, no. You can keep your suspenders and slacks, dude. You can keep them. All right, so what we've been doing is we've been picking up any of these um, uh, submachine guns because they uh, they don't they're not worth a lot, but we get a surprising amount of ammo back from picking them up. So it's just like, hey, let's just keep doing it. We'll just leave him there. Hey, what's up, G? I love so this is a story mission, and I you we've played one of these before, so I'm not too worried about it. I know I got gotcha. you. But I love the way they do this scene. You get a chance to see Nick, right? You see him in his full glory, but he you doesn't look weird or anything, which is important because remember the big reveal of this character is um, the fact that Nick is in fact a Sith. And uh, you know, it's through the door and boom, suddenly you see it. The flesh the peeled away from his body. The, the fact that he pulls out a cigarette, he doesn't have Question lungs. Is. Why, Why is he doing that? Hell yeah. Let's grab the speech, uh, <laughs> bubble cap. Ooh, I didn't realize that there were interviews right here. Holy crap, I didn't realize that that was there. Hold on, we're gonna listen to these real quick. Other people talking in the background, whatever, we'll go quickly through it. Alright, now let's just shoot a bunch of people. He's gonna be like, hey, do you wanna do this quietly or do you wanna do this loud? We're gonna do this loud. So basically what happens with this place is um, Vault 114 had a bunch of uh, very wealthy individuals who were put into the vault and then they ended up choosing somebody who was super anti um, like rich people is the best way I could describe this. Uh, what am I doing looking around? I might find drugs and that's the worst thing to find in this place. Otherwise vault <laughs> will have to kill uh, our stop looking for things except that's duct tape. That's okay. Okay, here we go. That's, uh, we're gonna get out of here as quickly as possible to fight off the fact that I might find some drugs, so... Nope. Um, shoot. What about this way? How do I get out of here? 
Oh, there you are. Oh, that's oh, that's Nick Valentine. <laughs> There's a mine. Oh, yes. Hit the mine, bro. What? Why didn't he hit the mine? I'm not. What? You tell me I'm dead? You see how badass that was? There's no deadness in that. Where'd you go? Oh, hi. All right. I mean, I just need to pick up my. Oh, it fell upside down. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we, I have to be extra careful doing this because I keep charging in and almost dying. Like, this is a very low health situation to be in. Uh, we're also charging through our healing items, but I just have so many. I've kind of just, like, been really blasé about the whole thing. Um, at least we're getting a ton of ammunition picked up from everything. Uh, worn fedora. Oh, man, I guess we got to drop a ton of stuff at the moment. Okay, so I made the decision to just drop a ton of pistols and a laser rifle because uh, as useful and fun as they will be to sell, the hats are actually the most valuable things that are on these guys. So uh, we're just taking hats and that's how we're gonna play. Um, oh, gotta stop looking at stuff. That's right, gotta, nope, not looking for anything. Nothing, not looking for anything. Oh, we're no, not gonna accidentally yeah, kill. See if I can get it open. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at the ceiling. There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the idea of doing this so that I don't accidentally find any jets and so I don't accidentally find any anything. Oh god, it's kind of funny. All right, quickly as possible. Don't want to see anything. Don't want to see anything. I don't want to see anything. I don't want to see anything. Okay. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, wait, hold on. Warn Fedora. Boing. Man, you're terrible at aim. God, this has been so much fun. Bottle cap, 10 millimeter, worn fedora, that works. So, uh, don't look at anything, don't look at anything, don't look at anything. Just, uh, just keep looking up, more people to kill. I don't know where you are. What is this? Is that a, is that a, that's a... Oh, thank God, they're empty. Excellent. Whew, gain plus five action points. That's totally worth it. Don't look at anything, don't look at it. I was so scared that I was like... Hey, dude. One way to get <laughs> this has been one. too much fun. I will take the submachine gun because like I mentioned it will give us a lot of action. Don't look at anything. Gotta keep reminding myself that. Don't keep, don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Alright. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. We're almost out of this ammunition. That Don't look. I was about to go in that room. Not doing that. You can make that joke, dude, but I know that you have servos instead of muscles. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, bottle cap, bottle cap, sweet round, submachine gun, uh, shotguns, submachine gun. Very good. All right. Okay. Um, Get him alone, and the rest of his boys are waiting. Wow, we are almost full ammo again. Uh, Ooh, don't look at anything. Don't look at anything. Just look at the ceiling. Just look at the ceiling. Just look at the ceiling. No way to pick this. Okay, that's that's you, dude. Can you get it? <laughs> what the look at anything, okay? <laughs> look at this beautiful ceiling. Okay, anyway, I made the comment that, um, so this place had a rich spot. Excuse me, they had a lot of l very okay, uh, lucrative but families living that. here. What's and the idea was that if they, uh, they would be forced to live in a more anything. poor environment, they had people who really, really did not like people who actually had money live there as the overseer. And so they were interviewing a bunch of people to look for crazy people basically they wanted to find someone insane because that's basically how vault tech works what are you doing like, you're coming to my house shoot up my guys hi guys you have any idea how much this is gonna set me back i wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame skinny you ought to tell it i right just kind of want to start shooting but honestly i have such a low charisma oh, we're probably gonna just start shooting a shame you got beat up by a girl i'll just run back home to daddy shall i should have left that alone nikki this ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him. Okay, we're gonna and probably do vats to here. All sentimental. All that I'm gonna have an iguana on a stick real quick. Let's eat it up. I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. 
Uh, oh wow, I can't convince her to leave. I'm just gonna be sarcastic then. That wasn't the plan originally, but hey, tempting. Hey, I'm the one in charge here. You got something to say? Say it to me. Sorry. Um, hold on, maybe we could- That would be kind of fun to ask a question. We have- You and Nick know each other? <laughs> it's Troublemaker here it used to be a real headache back in the day. Before we got kicked out of the old neighborhood. <laughs> Must have done this dance a hundred times. Enemies are kind of the closest thing you get to friends in these parts. Oh, that's kind of cute. quit stalling. You're gonna talk? I've never had this opportunity talk. to kind of listen to that. Uh, I'm not gonna just attack him. Maybe we can end peacefully? This is all just a misunderstanding, Skinny. You know that. You let us walk and we won't come back. Well, I tell you won't. Yeah, I figured that that wouldn't work. I thought it was worth a shot, though. All the crews in the area will see this as weakness. Then they'll come for me. You're the Sorry. best dressed raiders I've seen here. Give you both the hard goodbye. Oh, don't worry about it. Um, I absolutely need to take some drugs. Bam, 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 bam. Wow, that's not doing anything to Skinny. Back up. Heels up, heels up, heels up. Stop being a jerk. Darla, back up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoo, okay. Uh, we're gonna take a little drugs because that's what our character does, is takes drugs. Drug time. Thank you. Where'd you go? Oh, we're almost out. Okay. Nice. I like the fact of how differently we've ended up solving any of these situations. Um, I'll take your ten. Oh, I wanted a dress. That's right. Ooh, duct tape. I'm so excited. I get to walk around town looking good. I am. That's I, hell. I was like half the reason I was. Where is? Oh, there you are. Didn't even break a sweat. Wow. Literally, my last bullet killed that guy. Much for skinny Malone. I think he's lighter or heavier with all those holes in him. Now the bullets probably had a few ounces. Good I don't know, man. Sweet prince. Here's to all the old days. <laughs> I like that, uh... It's gonna be an awkward conversation with Darla's parents when I tell them their daughter bit the big one. Not to mention with so well, much submachine guns. The case is closed. Let's get out of here. All right, good sir. So that's the next mission that we have completed for our character. That's, um, uh, seven or eight. I've honestly lost track. Uh, let me drop the extra submachine guns. We do not need any longer. Service Very good. Should take us right to the surface. All right. Keep your black suit, bro. Man, that's so interesting how great we've been able to just keep gathering ammunition off all the dead guys so quickly. The, scav the scrounger perk's been great. It's I mean, once we also level up this gun to being something like... It's just so much better because compared to everything else this gun is pretty weak so where am i going oh i'm following nick that's right he's gonna go through this door and he's gonna walk up through here don't look at anything i don't want any drugs don't look at anything don't want any drugs don't look at anything please don't get yes okay we're gonna send nick away we're not gonna go with him i really don't want to accidentally have to kill him because i've taken an aggressive drug okay so let's talk to nick once he uh comes on out and then uh we'll be good as you can see, my compass is still a little screwy, but, um, hey, Nick. Nick. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? You got a badass helper. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent- She did? Now, you mentioned something about- I want you uh, to- we we'll get into that there. Meet I'll you there. meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Cool. Yes! Yes! Oh, I was so scared about that. Whew. All right, we were able to do that really well. Um... So, now at seven or eight missions. Level up, level 12 has been breached. We unfortunately cannot do more commando, that's level 21. We have a lot of cool options to keep uh, bumping up. I think uh, the way that I've been playing with the craziness is that we should just keep pumping up toughness and get really freaking harsh. Like, I'm looking forward to that. Now, a little bit of a pickle. Uh, I told you guys about the, you know, getting ammunition and stuff like that, and good neighbor, or not ammunition, getting missions and the like. Um, the combat zones where we'll find Kate. So let's uh, go ahead and just unlock that, shall we? Because uh, that was would be the last half of our mission. So that will be a lot of fun to do. And by last half of the mission, I mean last half of our story. What's up? Pew pew, pew pew. Uh, well, we still have a lot of uh, medics at us, so that's why I'm 
quite okay with just shooting wildly. Now check what happens when we use a gun that's good, huh? Just cuts through everything like butter. Are you talking to me? Or are you talking to somebody else, bro? Because I don't have to worry about accidentally finding drugs anymore. I am pretty safe. So uh, go ahead and just try to act all tough and cool and damn these stairs are difficult to walk up. Alright, walking through, walking up. Whew! Getting tired. There you are. Alright, out of the way. Ooh. I don't need a pipe sniper rifle. I don't really need anything else that's here. Just getting warmed up over here. I uh, would be happy to... Man, I don't know if I've actually come up here before. You know, sometimes you just find certain locations you just haven't really explored. Did you just punch me through the window? I have to say I'm impressed. So I did not expect that kind of attack. Alright, just making sure I don't find... Uh, Molotov cocktail, knuckles, looks good. I'm not gonna pick up the pipe pistol. Sure, we might get a lot of extra jet and buff out. <sighs> oh, the person's punching me in the back, but I'm just about to take some drugs, so that's not gonna make them feel good. And some jet. <laughs> oh man, we are definitely over, overly crazy powerful when uh, we're taking all these drugs. All right. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, we we have a problem, dudes. Um, I was gonna go to the com- oh, hey, oh. Wow! We just took that guy out like he was no problem. Uh, anyway, the problem that I was just thinking about was if we were going to go to the combat zone, there was a lot of drugs and things there. And if I'm in the combat zone where there's a lot of drugs, my character will have to take them. If I have to take them, I'm going to have to kill people. Um, oh, bourbon makes me go crazy, so it looks like I'm be still on the craziness bottle cap. Nice. Hair trigger pipe sniper rifle. Nice. Not really our weapon style. But uh, anyway, this is I'm a little worried about because if I'm going to be going insane, um, bourbon, right? Yep. Strength and endurance up. If I'm going to be doing that, I don't want to be doing it in there. And we had the d discussion that I would technically be free of um, my drug overdose problems once uh, I go into and do that tenth mission. Like that's me freeing it, and then I help Kate. How is this for a little bit of storytelling? I like that. Check this. So, ooh, a machete. Nice. So you have a guy. He like does this running start ramp thing, and then you see him die right there as he misses it. Okay, I really want to try this. I really want to try this. Do you think I can make it? I really want to try. So maybe there's like an easier way there. Hmm. Okay. I really hope I don't. Jump. Okay. Whew. Well, we discovered Trinity Tower. But anyway, that was a great little bit of a... No, 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 fall! Oh, crap. Ugh. Well, that was going to have a bunch of useful stuff in her. So, that's actually a really sad, kind of scary um, thing where it's like she was running from the raiders and jumped and hit there and that was as far as she got. It's kind of a kind of a dark, but um, still kind of cool in a crazy, I'm sorry that you died way. Interesting to see like what's just going on around here. We've done roof hopping before. But uh, I haven't seen one that was like with that little bit of extra story element to it. I didn't want to really want to melon. Good. All right, looking down. Jump. Good. Everything's looking a okay. I don't know what this area is. This is Swan's area. Maybe I actually don't really recognize it. Okay, I don't want to. This is a bit of a high jump, but it's really the only thing we can do. Okay. Oh, good. Ow. God, that was pretty painful. I have some more blood packs. We can actually, man, we're just cruising through so much of our food that we have available to us. But I mean, we have a lot of rad roach meat. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 we don't want to eat that. That hasn't been cooked. There we go. There we go. We have a lot of food that's been cooked, so it's it's a okay. Yeah, I don't really know if I've hung out in this area. Excuse me. Sorry, I just burped again. Um. Whoa. Hey everybody. Roll out that submachine gun again. Oh. What's up? 
All right, we're gonna try. I mean, we're on drugs, so let's give it a shot, shall we? Oh, yes. Come on, super mutant. Ho, oh, hell! Hi, puppy. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, bumping into stuff. Oh, I know where we are. So this is a sweet mission that we actually did as Grognak. Uh, helping the people upstairs where we found strong and the like. This could be another fun one to do. I mean, we had talked about how it's just like we're just trying to get stuff done, so it is valuable. And we are crazy powerful, so it could be pretty cool to do. Hmm. I don't know, dudes. I'll think about it. Either way, we're actually at the end of this episode, so thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the button down below me, and of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back, and the sun shall warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.